Accidents happen, especially during severe weather or even traffic. But are accidents trending up or down in the state? And how many involve motorcycles? We reached out to Kentucky State Police, the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet to figure out if they are, as WBKO investigates tonight at 10. A sound all too familiar to those traveling on Kentucky roadways. From 2012 to 2021, of the total 7,475 fatal accidents in Kentucky, 13% or 952 were motorcyclists. Uh, it seems like there's just more and more cars on the roadway. According to the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, last year across the state, there were 620 fatal accidents. So far this year, there have been 645, with still two months to go in the year. Breaking it down to Warren County, there have been 11 fatal accidents this year, a lower number than the previous four years, but of those accidents, five involved motorcycles. The motorcycle riders will go down, um, but I think you see a lot of those collisions in the fall because People do want to get out and sightsee. They do want to go to the park. They want to go see the foliage, and then you have uh, leaves that are falling, and especially if we have any type of precipitation, that really causes a roadway to be slick, especially to motorcycles. Kentucky law says you have to wear a seatbelt, but when you hop on your motorcycle, the law doesn't require most riders to wear a helmet. When you're on a motorcycle, there's just not as much protecting you around like there is in a vehicle. Uh, when you're in a, a car or truck or an SUV, you have all this metal around you that at least gives you some protection, and, and you don't have that in a motorcycle. Trooper Daniel Pretty says almost all motorcycle collisions end up in some type of ejection. Uh, because there's nothing to contain the, the rider, the operator in the motorcycle. So usually there's always the, uh, the ejection and, and that comes with uh, serious injury. Wet grass clippings on the road or even leaves can be deadly for motorcycle riders. And now is the time of the year we see the uptick in deer. The further we get into fall, the the more you have of uh, you know deer movement. Uh, we see so many more vehicle versus deer collisions uh, this time of year, and it's going to continue to go up over the next few weeks. I would say the majority of these collisions happen because other motorists don't see uh, the motorcyclists, and uh, you know, and that's uh, that's dangerous when, especially when you have a larger vehicle that would be changing lanes or you know trying to merge into traffic. In Bowling Green, Ali Hennard, WBKO Investigates. Well, I also spoke with a local chapter of the Kentucky Motorcycle Association, and they've been a force in Kentucky on issues regarding mo motorcyclists. They've been able to affect elections and bills moving through the Kentucky legislature and the U.S. Congress.